Hey guys, Grinch here. Today we're going to be playing Bloodless Nemesis 2. I was sent this game by the developer. I'm really excited to check it out. From what I understand, um, this is kind of like a dungeon crawling RPG hack and slash type game. So I'm really excited to see what it's about and just dive into it. Um, I'll probably be doing a review at the end of this video. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what it's about. Alright, so it looks like we have a lot of different... I'm going to go with the dude... Let's see. There's a lot of different customizations. Let's uh, see what kind of hairstyles we got here. You know what? I am digging these pigtails. We're going with that. I'll go with this one. We are going to name ourselves a Grinch. Because that's just a wonderful name. Let's see. You got the warrior class. It is determined when the player has more strength than dexterity or charisma. Classes are not selected, but rather earned depending on the amount of class-specific stats. Class can change during the game, so I guess depending on what stats you use to change during the game will change your class. Um, I think I'm going to go with Witch. We'll go with my second name then. We'll go with Exiler. Ooh, so there is a multiplayer. Maybe you guys can get this game, we can play together if you'd like it. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the single player. It's pretty cool. Didn't know this game was multiplayer. Rise and awaken. That hair though. What's going on? Where am I? Varak asked me to bring you here. How? Using your mind, my magic, and a drifter's body, you are now the custodian to this telekinetic vessel. How do you feel? I feel strange. Thirsty? Yes, this body is undead. Find Varak. He will explain why I've done this. Varak? What the? Go through the sewers to the warehouse. He's waiting for you there. However, I must warn you, this body's flesh and skills are weak. Yeah, I don't feel so strong. I don't feel very strong. It's best you build them up as soon as possible. Increase your strength. Perhaps some charisma or maybe some vitality. It's entirely up to you. But choose wisely. For the dangers in this dark city will test your capabilities quickly. What's with the floating crow? Or, uh, never mind. Anything else I should know? Yes. One more thing. Beware of the wraith. Neither you nor I own this body you possess. It belongs to the dead, and they will come for it eventually. Do not attempt to fight the wraith. It cannot be destroyed, ever. The best you can do is run or hide, and hope it returns to the darkness. Let's try the persuasion. Oh, I guess it's not. That's why it's red. We don't have enough points. Okay, okay great. Let's move on. The basics. W-A-S-D to move. Mouse. To Okay. I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit. Let's see. WASD to move, mouse to look. Be sure to talk with the strange lady before leaving. Can we talk to the strange lady? Isn't that the strange lady? What's this? Okay. Taking items on the ground. Press E to pick up any items nearby. Get close to the item on the shelf and then keep pressing E to continue to pick up additional nearby items. Sweet. There is something nearby. Equipping inventory. After taking the items, press the I key to open your inventory. Drag or right click the new axe to equip. 
easy enough. Let's do this. Finding secrets. Use vampire gaze to find switches. Fly through the grate in the lower wall. Red glow straight ahead and touch the exposed wire to short out the power. Then look for a nearby wall to open, revealing a secret room. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's somebody. Okay, so let's see. What? Oh, shoot. Where's the exposed wire? Right here. Oh, that was cool. Press control key to crouch. I don't know why I was turning my head like that. Allow you to access into tight, low places. When crouching, you are in silent, less noticeable when moving. There'll be a baddie in here waiting for me. Ouch. That was rude. Just got blowed up. Okay. Oh, that requires a lot of strength that I don't have yet. This, uh... Health and thirst. Health, spirit force, and thirst are shown in the upper left corner. How high your health regenerates depends on your quenched thirst. For example, if your quenched thirst is only 50%, then you will only need to regenerate 50%. You will only regenerate 50% of your max health. You must bite to feed and quench your thirst, allowing your health to regenerate faster. Okay. Nice. I sired my first lady. Sounds bad. How to bite. Uh, select bite. Okay. I already got that. We're good. Calling your minions. You call your minions with... Or send them away to heal by pressing home. Okay. So if they get low on health, I just press home. Easy enough. Read the journal. If you are ever lost and not sure what to do, open your journal by pressing the J key. Open skills, sire tree, talents by pressing the K key. Open your character screen by pressing the C key. Got it. Hey, let's kill this guy. This guy's just blowed up. What's this? Anything else in here? Magnifying moonlight. Did you know the moonlight is actually sunlight reflected off the moon and when it's magnified through special lens in the ceiling it can be as bright as the sun and deadly to the undead. Perhaps there's a switch to close the panel in the ceiling. Okay, let's try this. Well, that's pretty cool. Small axe, black boots. There's all sorts of secrets around here. What is that? Blood fragment. Gives a bonus when drinking ex ex elixirs. That was cool. I like the whole like secret thing. Makes adventuring a little bit more fun. Any more secrets in here? What's this? So I guess that's something I should look out for is like exposed wires so we can do the vampire gaze thing. Beware the wraith will pull you down to put you back into the ground. Sounds like a... a sounds like a load of fun. That wraith, you know? Really enjoying this game so far. It's, you know, it's a little rough around the edges, maybe. Where's my minion? Okay. Go 
ahead. Oh, we got some new stuff. Let's go ahead and equip silver bullets. What are those for? Vamp or what, werewolves? Is it maybe? Uh, we got some pants. Leather ring. We don't have enough stats. I don't. Oh yeah. I was just putting it in the wrong slot. Okay. Identify scroll. So this kind of reminds me of maybe. Um, what is it? Got our minion back. It sort of reminds me of Diablo in a sense, just for the dungeon crawling aspect, probably. Eye of Icarus. Amulet required. Ooh, there's these uglies. Get a minion. Identify scroll. What else are we missing here? Entrance to the sewer tunnel. I'm not sure I want to go down there just yet. Let's do a little bit of exploring on this floor. Whoa. I got jump scared. What does that do? This, this dude's looks like a badass. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's run. Extra strong reflects damage, drains spirit force. Yeah, we we out of here. Guess we'll continue. <laughs> made it to the warehouse continuing on what do you guys think about the game so far if you guys are interested uh, let me know and I'll, I'll uh, well I'll put a link in the description that way you guys can find it as well who's this guy dude it's Abraham Lincoln not quite are you in there fledge leader or I mean hunter Nico did good very good Looks great, though not sure why I'm so surprised, since she worked wonders with me as well. How do you feel? Um, yes, you look much younger than I remember. Did you feel weak after the process, too? That's normal. You feel better after you build up the best skills and attributes a bit. You want to explain why Miko put me into the body of a vampire? Yeah, made some of the other bloodlines a bit nervous. Oh, that. Yeah, I can see where that might... They might be a bit nervous about that. In about ten days, you're going to be greeted with over 9,000 undead at your doorstep. Judging by past events, I might normally have faith in your ability to deal with the situation. But it would appear the undead have stepped up their game a bit. How so? ...in this city under the authorization of the council. Nemesis? Neural embryonic morphine immortal synthetic immune something or other. What a name. I don't fully understand it, but I do know it makes the kindred even more powerful, much stronger with increased senses and the ability to morph into any organic creature. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound good. When I heard of this, I thought it might be in your best interest to pay a visit to see for yourself. Possibly delay or even destroy production of this new blood before the enhanced undead appear at your gates. You couldn't have just given me a call, huh? Maybe sent a plane ticket? It wouldn't have worked. With the new blood drug coursing through the undead's black veins, they can sense any hunter cells nearby. You would undoubtedly be detected immediately if you were not in this form. Starting to understand. The only solution was to place you into a telekinetic vessel. This is where Miko's talents come in. You should be safe from suspicion now, allowing you to move freely among the sect using only your mind and Miko's magic. Alright, sort of makes sense, I guess. Oh, and you will undoubtedly notice that insatiable feeling of thirst for blood. I'm afraid that the authenticity was a necessity, so of course this vessel is a blood feeder. 
Great. Okay. All right. I'm here. So now what? Chocolate Corp rented some space in Chinatown in a back room of a local herbal store. The space is probably being used for a lab of some sort. It's not the main lab, but it's still something worth checking out. Where's this store? Chinatown. You can get to it through the large doors at the north end of this warehouse. But not so fast, since getting inside the lab section will most likely be tricky. So how do I get in? Giggler. Giggler, huh? Sounds like a real funny not guy. Exactly. Fun guy. Fact, it's just plain crazy. But unfortunately, someone you're going to have to meet. Giggler's the leader of the Bogata clan, and for whatever reason, Taka Corp is using him as their main guinea pig and test subject blood trials giving him access to some of their restricted areas so let me guess i sneak in and steal his key talking corp security is a bit more advanced than that giggler probably enters the lab like other taka employees using a retina eye scanner so i will leave it to your imagination on how you're going to make that happen he's got two eyes i only need one shouldn't be too hard where is he he's in the Lugata hideout it's a warehouse converted from an old deep dungeon uncovered under the city years ago. The entrance is behind a large metal garage at the end of the first alley in Chinatown. Deep dungeon, huh? Let me guess. Giggler is not going to be on the first floor, is he? Not likely. In fact, finding him probably won't be easy. His office is deep and possibly hidden. Better brush up on your intimidating skill, and then find a guard to interrogate and set up a meeting with Giggler. It's probably the only way you will ever find him. Intimidate skill, huh? I will try that out. See ya. Alright, so we leveled up. Let's go ahead and do that. So there are different resistances we can get. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna put up my vitality just a little bit. Hmm. I really want to focus. Go ahead and get our persuasion up a little bit. There we go. We got new skill points. Let's see. Warp. Teleport to roofs, ledges, and high platforms. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead. That'll give us at least one, one magic ability for now. I guess we can have multiple though. Let's see, that's more for like the thief. It looks like. I'll save. I'll save my points for now. Just uh, just until I get a little better grasp on the game. What is this? Fast travel map. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm, anything else in here? Nope, oh, okay. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and end this first episode here. I really don't have, I don't feel like I have a good enough grasp on the game to to give a full review just yet, but I really am digging the game. Um, the controls are easy to learn, the story's pretty easy to follow. I don't really understand what's going on just fully just yet. Um... The the only the only thing that I saw wrong with this game, at, at least from my playthrough, was when you come to the second map, the ghouls kind of jump out you like immediately, and it it would seem almost it would seem pretty easy if you were to just hit your button by accident or your E button and go back to the previous map. I, I see that possibly being an issue, but other than that, I'm really enjoying the game. Um, I will probably give it a more refined review once I play through it a little bit longer, um, but I really enjoyed this game. If you guys want to see more of it, please let me know. Until next time, I'm Grinch, and I'll be under my bridge, and I will see you in the next video.